Hi. I, uh, I'm going to show how to install Tor browser on, on my Pop VM. Because somebody asked. I don't use it, but somebody asked, so uh, I got into it. It's been on my radar. I just never really cared about using it. Since somebody asked how to do it, I decided to take it upon myself and see if I can figure it out. And I did. It wasn't that hard. Okay? So, uh, here's, this, here's their, their download. This is their installation page. So, it's, you know, torproject.org is their main start page. But let me go to my, uh, let me go to my pop here. Okay. And then pretty pretty basic, pretty pretty simple. torproject.org find the download page as usual. Download Tor browser. Download the tar file for Linux. Okay? And then the instructions say to use an archive manager. Or I guess you can probably use uh, the tar utility as well. So if you're going to do it the way they say to do it, then then go to the archive manager. I won't step through it. It's not well. I guess I can show you how. I mean, it's not that hard to really figure out how to do it. And then open. And then go to the download folder and find the tar file here and then uh, uh, then extract it where's the extraction here? okay you have to open it first you have to open it that's where I got a little confused you select you browse to it you open it but at that point it's not extracted yet but so you have to select it and open it and then it does this okay then, it, then it's ready for extraction. And it didn't really say where to put it, what location, what folder, if you can make your own custom folder. So I just, I just, I didn't create any folder. I'm not going to redirect it to go to a different folder or anything like that. I'm just going to extract every, all the contents to, I'm going to keep the directory structure and I'm going to do all files and I'm just going to extract everything to the download folder. Okay? So once we're, and you can see actually here, right here is the extracted archive in the download folder, okay? So that's how you do it graphically. It says to do it through the archive manager, but like I, I, if you just use tar, that would work as well, okay? So then we're going to go to the uh, download folder. And we're going to look for those two just to verify. There's the tar. There's the uh, the tar .xz file, and then here's the um, the extracted archive. Okay, so pretty simple from here. Just go into that first that first home that first root folder for tar. I mean for um for tor tar tor tar tor. Okay, so we're in. And you don't have to go very far. You don't have to do a lot. Just, just, uh, just go to that first start tor browser dot desktop uh, precompiled executable binary. And, uh, and I, don't, I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a, a shell script or what or what compiler was used, but it, it, you don't need to have that compiler because it's precompiled, so the runtime will be included already. And if you have Bash, well, you've already got Bash anyway. So, all I did was I just I just executed it a straight execution, like this, and then start, hit enter, and then. Well, let me show here. Let me let me go ahead and just launch it then, right? Then you might pass that dash dash detach flag so that it detaches it from the uh, from the terminal. And there it is. That, that I'm I'm launching Tor from from the terminal. You know I haven't tinkered with it, so I don't know. I haven't all, I don't have it set up. I, I don't know much about Tor yet. So this is like raw form. You know this is out of the box like this. 
That's how you launch it from the terminal. Now, if you want to add it to your application folder, you're going to have to add a couple of one one flag to that precompiled binary, and the flag is register dash dash register dash app. And then that'll register it as a, 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 a you know an application. It'll put it into your um, into your home folder into a local share application. See, there's the there's the path where it's local share application. That's that's where that's where the um, the launcher has been has been added to. And then all you have to do is go to your application folder on Cosmic, scroll down, look for Tor Browser, give it a click, and it opens it, it opens it from, the, from right there. So you can either uh, launch it from the command line or from your application folder. That's pretty much about it. Like I said, I, have, I haven't you know, configured it or tinkered with it, so this is like out of the box. So. Beyond here, I don't know. I'd have to tinker with it, play with it. I never, I've never used it. You know, I know about it. I've never used it. But one of the members asked how to do it, and someone, someone said to use it from Tails, which is fine. But if you're using it from the Tails live desktop, you're not on Pop anymore. So that struck me as like that's not. I mean, don't, I, don't. If you want Pop and you want Tor, this is the way I do it. Otherwise, if you're on Tails. You're on Tails and you're on Tor, but you don't have... So this is like Pop and Tor at the same time. Which is the way I would want to do it. And um, that's pretty much about it. Uh, you, there's a, supposedly one other way to launch it, but I couldn't get it to work on mine because uh, I don't have... I got Nautilus, you know, files and whatnot. But I, 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 I tried to set it up the way they said in the instructions, but um, just couldn't get it to go. So again, here's the uh, extracted, and this, the, this is that, that um, pre-compiled binary that we were launching. And it, there's no preferences for me to really work with it, and I right-clicked it and added some... It seems like this is enough allow executing the, you know all the permissions and everything allow it's it's already executable in the terminal and the instructions kind of this is the closest I can get to, with, to what the instructions said I don't have what it takes to do it in the preferences here I'm missing I'm missing a, a section general I, I'm missing something to work with it so the third way would have been to try to do it from here but all I get is this text file with some instructions so, but you've got two other ways to do it. You can go from the terminal and launch it or, you know, go to your application folder. Um, that's about it. Thank you.